Look at those action figures. I have really a good collection of these action figures and I think I probably set it up correctly as well. Uh, but guys, today we are not here to discuss about these action figures. Actually, I would like to tell you the new topic that we are going to cover today, that is IOT. So guys, what is IOT? What is Internet of Thing? I, I give you uh, one quick example and I'm sure you all of are very well aware about this option. So let's begin. Hey Siri, can you change the light of Hirsch into red? Okay, red. Oh, look at that guys. This is what I was talking about. I think you are actually been communicating with Siri, Alexa, uh, Cortana, all of these AI assistant and actually they are responding you with the answers and most of you are actually enjoying talking to them. <laughs> I do have an Amazon device as well and that's what uh, this comes to. And I think you can see by just my voice command, this has been changed. Now, how this actually happened, let me explain you and then bring all of your answers right away, right here. Here's a Batman for you. Internet of Things, or in other word, or in short, we call it IOT, is actually a very brilliant solution nowadays in this world. And you know, the future is moving towards artificial intelligence, machine learning, and the great part here is IOT is also a part of that. It's nothing but it's actually a, a collection of your old devices right under one place. And of course you can connect billions of billions devices right under one specific platform and that platform is IoT. How it is going to help you? I already give you one quick example that you simply talk to Siri and Siri respond to your questions or whatever the information you like to know from Siri or from the internet. That is how it is working. And how your Siri is providing you all that information, actually it is having a very brilliant uh, application development behind the scene. And of course we have the complete IoT solutions right there, which helps us to collect those questions and answer those questions based on, you know, whatever the information being stored on that particular place or the platform or the location so that if I ask you uh, like Siri, what is the weather for the day? Actually, it analyzes my location and respond me based on my current location and of course the weather information being stored over the internet because these services are being interconnected. So, I mean, similarly, when we talk about Microsoft Azure IoT is again, you know, uh, it helps us to collect the information, it actually start providing, you know, analytics based on those collected devices and then our developer can make the solution in a better way. So it's overall IoT in Azure is a platform where you can start, collect the information, analyze them, monitor them, and of course can provide the certain or specific response based on the requirement. This is what you need to understand in a very basic way about Internet of Things. Hello guys, my name is Harsh Angra and in today's video, uh, we are going to do certainly a practical and we will more talk about uh, Azure IoT because IoT is not just bound to the Microsoft, all other organization is also providing you a platform where you can start building your application, start collecting those data, and then of course, provide the solution to your customers or certain uh, people or certain organization uh, requirement based on that certain requirement basically. So here in this picture, let's start uh, like how you're going to deal with this IoT stuff overall and what sort of things you need to keep in your mind whenever you talk about the internet of things. Because nowadays people are keep talking about everything is gonna be uh, covered with IoT and it is gonna help 
everybody else. Like for example, you have the key. That key has an internet already been inbuilt. So let's say if you forget your key somewhere, with the help of IoT or Internet of Thing, you can get the exact location of your uh, particular key. I mean, car key I'm talking about here. And that is why you heard about the Apple Air tag. I give you another example, Samsung tags. So these tags are actually been, you know, used as a key holder and you directly recognize that particular tag or air tag from Apple uh, as a key, as a backpack, as a laptop, whatever, like wherever you want to save that particular uh, air tag for you. And then let's say you forget where is that particular device or the key or your backpack. You simply use your Apple device, go to find my device application and you can start looking your device right in front of you, it, it can even give you the direction where to go and how far away your device is or your key or your backpack is. This is a very brilliant solution to make things, you know, bundled together and can help you to analyze all of that data into one platform. That is what we are going to talk about today. And of course it is Microsoft Azure IoT. I give you a very simplified uh, I mean, a simple example right here to understand this topic. So right on this place, you can see I have a ship, I have a mobile phone, I have a plane, or maybe you have a GPS device, a car with has an internet connection. I give you one quick example in India. We have MG, Tesla, another famous place, electricity board, we have some electricity board which is connected with internet. I give you one example. Our industries, I give you one classic example uh, like robotic industry and some of the products is coming from ABB organization. I'm not going to tell you what ABB is but want to tell you that ABB is integrated in Microsoft Azure IoT. So if you are having the devices from ABB organization, you can also connect all of those devices directly to Azure IoT and you can manage them again from one single dashboard. It's brilliant. Your corporate devices or your corporate offices and of course the bank. And here is a classic example of Raspberry Pi. Now, what is Raspberry Pi? Don't worry, we'll, we'll uh, do the practical today as well. But why I'm telling about all of these things right here because guys, these things are having the internet connection. I mean, you can get the location of your ship. You can also get the location of your mobile phones. You can also analyze which application is being used. And of course, from the remote location, I'm sitting right in my house and I can also, uh, I'm not talking about the hacking, but just to give you the idea, I can get the information, whatever is going on, like remote desktop application, whatever you can call, it's all sorted out using the IoT platforms. Planes, you can get the GPS tracking that where is that plane at that particular moment. You can find out easily your GPS location. You can certainly send to the people, hey, I am right here. Please come and grab me up. I mean, you, you, can, you can certainly do that. And like precisely, you can also find out similarly all these information right under one place using Azure IoT Hub. Now, what is Azure IoT Hub? Just for your information, though there are a couple of topics in Microsoft Azure, but I'm going to give you the basic idea in AZ900, which helps you to just clear out your examination. Uh, the IoT Hub uh, allows us to connect all of your devices under one place. You can start managing all of them. And of course, it doesn't matter. You have a billions of devices. It's all going to connect using Azure IoT Hub using a specific string, which, I, which we are going to deal with today. We are going to perform a practical and it is definitely going to help you. The purpose here is Microsoft Azure IoT can provide you a secure, a privacy, I mean privacy improved solution that you don't need to worry about that, hey, your data is going to be breached or can be hijacked or can be intercepted by like, attacker, hijacker, and all that stuff. Not at all. You can certainly securely, once all of this data been collected 
to the Azure IoT Hub, you can start looking, hey, uh, I think you have uh, seen these kind of messages that please help us to improve the quality of this product. So please sending your analytics with us. I give you one classic example that is from uh, Apple devices. So they are start collecting the data so that they can start improving the operating system experience. Similarly, all these applications, which is based on the IoT, can start also asking you to collect the data, whatever you are performing from these devices, because later they want to improve the overall application or want to improve overall experience using these devices. And of course, how they are going to collect all those information using IoT Hub or Azure IoT at this moment. Once you have that information, you can start also uh, monitoring if you really want to, you can start monitoring all of your devices, how it is performing. Uh, like for example, if it is, a, we are talking about electricity board, what is the load in this electricity board? If I'm working in the electricity board and I'm sitting at home, I can still review, manage them, right sitting right from my home. How is it possible? Again, from the IoT platform. That is how you can start managing and, uh, you know, intrusion in that particular device. Intrusion is uh, not a right word, but I think uh, it's going to be uh, helpful for you to uh, understand the topic. And the last thing you can also, uh, you know, based on your application development, you can also start controlling all of these machines or devices right under one dashboard and that particular Azure IoT place. So what is Internet of Things? or what is Microsoft Azure Internet of Things? Like I said, it start collecting, uh, like, you know, analyze your data and help you to start controlling all those devices from one particular place that is Azure IoT. And guys, this is the platform as a service from Microsoft Azure, which will definitely uh, brings up a lot of advantages that is security, uh, privacy, like I discussed earlier, and it is not just bound to uh, one specific industry, manufacturing, energy, healthcare, retail, transportation, logistics, all these industries nowadays start building those solutions. I mean, I'm talking about the devices, they are actually integrating internet to these different devices and been connecting all of these devices into a central place where they can start controlling and managing all of them. I give you one another example. ISRO in India, we have, uh, you know, uh, the India Space Organization. So actually, uh, India Space Organization send those rockets to the moon or somewhere and how they are actually collecting those data using those satellites uh, running around the globe, I mean, around the planet. But that particular thing has an internet over it, I mean internet in the sense, a way of communication using that satellite and start sending those signals directly to the place. And from where you can start collecting images, pictures, data, temperature, I mean, what not? I mean, you can just imagine and you can, you know, understand the power of IoT because once you start collecting the data, you can start making sense from that data and build your application to provide a certain response to that certain thing, which helps you to, you know, provide overall control and can monitor the solution in an easy way. Ha! Ah, I mean, we have discussed a lot in this, but I think it gives you the better idea what is Azure IoT. In other way, what are the advantages? There are a lot of advantages. I give you already those examples. You can start reviewing those data. That means analytics or go into that uh, data to inside things and can provide you the better uh, suggestions or recommendation, what you need to do, what your app developer need to do. The second thing, it's easy to monitor all of these devices, billion or billion of devices right under one place. That's really a good control power which helps you to deploy things in a quick way. And of course, once you start controlling, like I said, you can start managing all of these solutions or I mean devices right under one place, which is very easy. Otherwise, if you're telling each and every individuals to perform a certain action, sometimes it's really hard. So uh, 
actually it's not just about the control but i i give you just an example that how you can start using those uh, advantages of uh, azure iot but certainly it is more than that and there are a lot of other topics which i am going to explain you but this is just for your introduction and i think you get my point right <laughs> all right now let's move forward and try to learn more about azure iot we are back on the microsoft azure portal and here we are going to deploy an iot hub and of course an iot device so that we can start reviewing and obviously collecting the data from a certain iot device now how you're going to achieve this practical because i'm sure not all of us is having an iot device and nor me i mean i also don't have <laughs> any iot device at the moment but how we are going to perform this practical so that you can learn and understand how things are working in the cloud so guys uh, for this particular uh, practical i highly recommend you to go to this website it's actually uh, a github website where microsoft has actually added raspberry pi a device an iot device which is a like completely based on a simulator and actually it's going to send the data to the microsoft azure so that we can start reviewing uh, the collection of the data the script is pretty simple i mean the app uh, application they deploy is very simple they just start sending some uh, messages and would just help us to understand how actually uh, we can verify that your an iot device is currently connected successfully to the iot hub now to perform this complete action and what is the raspberry pi let me give you this a quick idea guys raspberry pi is a uk based uh, i mean organization who actually build these raspberry pis it's a very small in size and it is nothing but a computer i mean you can use this as a computer you can add additional sensors if you want to that's up to you whether how you're going to use this one the brilliancy of this particular small device is it's really affordable even you go to amazon you can find it is just cost of 10000 rupees and you can start installing your operating system and using it with ease yes it is not coming up with any uh, <laughs> big cabinets it's just a small device and you can attach all sort of hd hdmi uh, usb all those connection which is sufficient to run an operating system and you can start enjoying and of course the storage is also very limited but uh, like i said you can attach more if you really want to because additional modules are available for this so this is what you need to know and on the right hand side it's a small application uh, deployed by or created by microsoft azure engineers uh, who can just you know allow us to test uh, sending those messages to the iot hub or microsoft azure so why i'm telling you this because it gives you the confidence once you start deploying the iot hub how you're going to connect your device and how you're going to start collecting those data and review uh, those data on an iot device this is what uh, i mean helps you to build your infrastructure especially if you have a live environment it is going to be a fun if you have a, a you know more and more iot devices to connect on but anyway at the moment let's go back to the microsoft azure and to start with you need to find iot hub just type iot hub as soon as you type iot hub you can see right now i don't have anything but certainly if you have created your iot hub at earlier stage you can find all those details so let's create an iot hub it's a very simple process just click on create obviously choose your subscription and i don't have any uh, resource group at the moment so i'm going to create a new that is h a which means harsh arena <laughs> and if you have not subscribed the channel guys please do that it is going to help you and me both uh, okay the iot hub name you can give any name you like i give uh, h a res berry that's more than enough for me so at the moment i would like to choose east us2 just for this practice and apart from that i'm not going to touch anything else because more in detail we are going to learn in az 104 certification not in here 
But here, it is even not required to learn about the practical, but <laughs> it, it gives you the confidence to try out the solution. So just hit uh, review and create. If everything is correct, it is gonna be validated successfully. And then we can simply hit on create. Yeah, it's ready. Let's click on create and wait for this IoT Hub to be created. Now, once it is created, the very next step is to uh, attach or add an IoT device to this IoT Hub so that we can start uh, you know, using those connection string where you know this Raspberry Pi is currently deployed and based on that connection string, it starts sending data to this specific IoT Hub, which we are going to test and try. So let's just wait to complete this deployment and right after that, we will perform that action. It took around uh, one and a half minute and my deployment is completed right now. So uh, to perform the next step, let's go to uh, go to resource right after completion of this deployment. And then uh, simply right now, you just need to see right now the message used is currently today is zero. The daily uh, messages quota is 400,000. Uh, basically, uh, it is based on $25 in a month. So this is the maximum limit. Obviously, if you have billions of devices, you have to choose the right uh, subscription or right service usage for you. But right now for me, it's more than enough. And what is the next step in under the device management? You need to click on the devices because here uh, we need to give uh, or add the device name and we need to add the device information so that it can help us to deploy the solution. So let's click add a device and type the name. So we have this HA res I'm, I'm just giving this name you can give any other name you want so obviously uh, all of the things at the moment i keep it default i'm not going to touch anything else uh, you can make a secure connection like i said if you are using a, a third party certificate you can also attach that but at the moment i'm going to use a symmetric key as a part of authentication type and going to use the auto generate keys i'm not going to generate the custom keys based on my uh, you know, reference or my utilization. I'm going to just choose the Microsoft default at the moment and click on this specific device because right now what we have to do, we have to copy the primary connection string, which helps us to add into the Raspberry Pi. So just had copy to the clipboard, data is copied. Now let's go back to that particular device or the application your developer has been created. And as an example, here in this website, you need to simply copy that connection string under this place and make sure you only, only and only modify the value which mentioned right under this commas. Don't make any other mistakes. So I think it's been copied successfully. And once it is done, the next step is to just sending or click on run right under this place. If you click run, just check out the message is sending a uh, message sent to Azure IoT Hub. And of course, this light start blinking as well on the screen. It means the Raspberry Pi simulator has started and start sending those data to Microsoft Azure IoT Hub. Now, this practice is so simple, right? Because I want you to test, I want you to try, I want you to gain the confidence to deploy the IoT solution, even based on AZ900 certification. But guys, frankly speaking, I'm not very good at development, especially I'm not a guy who can create the whole application. I obviously need to ask from my, uh, you know, the friends who is actually spe specializes in creating those application. So if you are not, uh, an app developer, I certainly request you to ask your app developer. And if you have a Raspberry Pi, the real one, you can still perform this test. You can add your sensors. So you can add your temperature sensors. These temperature sensors on Raspberry Pi can start sending those temperature information to uh, 
the cloud and here you can start collecting the data and based on those data, you can start taking the necessary action. At the moment, I like to just make sure that we are able to gather the data. That is an important thing for me. So let me go back to my home and let's go to the IoT Hub and we have to analyze. Oh, can you see that now? IoT used today is 34. It was zero before, but now I can see 34. Obviously, if you can wait a little bit more because Raspberry Pi simulator is keep sending those data to us and you can just review those temperature detail and all of the stuff regularly. And accordingly, uh, you can also start reviewing right now is 34. Let me refresh the page. Let's see if it changed or not. No, it's not changed. Oh yeah, it changed now. It changed to 63. It means we can also start reviewing uh, device to the cloud message status, but not here I can see anything. Let me change back to the data based on an hour. And yeah, guys, there you see. Uh, you can uh, even hit this, uh, click on this particular metric where is the, and as you're monitoring, and here is the huge amount of data. And of course, it's been collected. And here you can see it's collected around 20 uh, count. I mean, 20 messages been received from uh, the specific Raspberry. So this is just the example. And here also you can start reviewing all of the data as well under the monitoring section. And if you keep refreshing the screen, the utilization of your messages is keep changing. Uh, 34, 63 is based on the different requirement. And right now, I only also can see I have one IoT devices successfully deployed and been connected to this IoT hub. So guys, this is how you're going to try and test uh, your Raspberry Pi as an example. Of course, we used uh, a, a kind of a simulator, but I think you get the whole point that it helps us to uh, deploy the IoT Hub successfully and add a device successfully so that we can start reviewing those data. And like I said, uh, once you have the data, you can perform this file upload. You can do a lot of different stuff. At the moment, I'm not going to touch base those topics, but uh, this is what I want to inform you because we have all other kind of services based on Microsoft Azure IoT, which we are not going to cover in this video, but uh, you have confidence now, I'm sure. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move uh, to the next part and uh, try to learn a little bit more. So likewise, we understand now what is Microsoft Azure Internet of Things. And also we understand how the IoT is working in Microsoft Azure. Though we have touch base, a very basic thing, especially the IoT devices, how you're going to add them, but uh, it's very important in terms of the administration, how you're going to start adding those devices to the Microsoft Azure IoT. But to understand a little bit more, and of course the advantages, though I mentioned in the theoretical concept, whatever I have explained, the security, the privacy, collect the data, analyze the data, monitor the data, and of course you can start performing automation based on those data. All those stuff you can achieve using Internet of Things. And likewise, I try to show you the place where you can add more and more devices so you can perform the deployment and the configuration on all those devices based on your requirement. The only thing you need to prepare is the right application so that you can start deploying the solution on all of your devices. And that is exactly I have mentioned in this uh, particular lines and the information I copied here. But on the right hand side, I still have a picture. I'd like to inform you a little bit more about the Raspberry Pi because it's a very famous and, uh, you know, intuitive, uh, a kind of a solution that you can easily purchase if you have a enough budget. Because if you don't want to try out uh, with the Raspberry Pi simulator, it's pretty easy available because uh, right now the latest version of the Raspberry Pi is Raspberry 4, but over the Amazon, you can find Raspberry 3, which is more than enough to try out and to test and perform all of your action. Definitely it does cost uh, approximate uh, 10,000, just the Raspberry Pi. I'm talking about this one only, nothing much. And once you have this, of course I copied some of these modules like camera, 
the vibration and audio, the gas sensor. I also show you in the simulator we have, uh, you know, the humidity and the temperature sensor. You can connect all of these sensors to this Raspberry Pi to perform a certain action. Of course, uh, for the vibration and audio, it start collecting the data. Likewise, uh, I perform with the Siri, I perform with, uh, you know, Alexa, that whenever, hey. <laughs> When will I ever learn by Portugal sunset from Spotify? Hey Alexa, show me the home screen. Alexa, stop the music. <laughs> Guys, did you see that? Whenever I use these artificial intelligence application names i mean i consider those are the application though it has been in built in the devices but how they are actually you know uh, matured enough to respond us to with all of our query and in how much uh, a quick pace uh, i really amazed with that but anyway what i was talking about is uh, to gather all of these uh, <laughs> information and sending those data flow to the IoT Hub so that we can start reviewing those data and gather whatever uh, the information we would like to and we can improve our application or whatever the devices uh, we are actually performing for the IoT or for the cloud integration. Now, one last thing before uh, to leave for the day is let me take you to the Microsoft Azure IoT website where all of these details been mentioned as a part of the documentation. Of course, I always refer and uh, approach all of you to go through the Microsoft official documentation as well. Though uh, my videos is gonna help you to crack the examination and these documentation will help you to prepare some documentation for your own knowledge or for purpose. Obviously, uh, if you follow my videos, you are definitely able to crack the exam easily uh, many people has done that, but uh, anyway, just, just to let you know, uh, the documentation is always important and I highly recommend all of you go to this location and try to learn more uh, about the Microsoft Azure IoT. What I would like to mention specifically, though I have explained all of these topics, points, right in my examples, as well as my explanation, but I'd like to inform you that IoT does not have just Microsoft IoT, I mean Azure IoT Hub. It has IoT Central, Digital Twins, IoT Edge, uh, Azure Percept, Azure Sphere, uh, Windows for IoT, the Azure RTOS. These are the different services offered by Microsoft Azure and definitely uh, I can uh, assure you that we are going to cover all these topics one by one, even more in detail, th even though I have to, uh, I think, prepare a separate uh, course for the Azure IoT because this is gonna be fun. Uh, and I will try to take help from my friend to prepare one application so that we can also deploy the real based IoT devices. Though I, I, I can try, I'm not gonna promise you on this, but I will try to reach because it requires some, uh, uh, development and uh, I don't know if my friend is gonna help me though I don't have much friend but there's one person I remember uh, maybe maybe uh, he can help me but let's see uh, how it goes but at the moment uh, I'd like to thank you for viewing this video I hope you find this video a little bit helpful and informative and I'm certainly uh, sure that you learned something new today in terms of AZ900 video though there are a couple of more videos are remaining and i will try to complete them as soon as possible uh, the very next video i will prepare on az104 so that simultaneously all these topics go through and uh, uh, i will make sure uh, i will prepare uh, videos uh, on a regular basis without uh, delaying anything uh, i mean delay in anything and uh, right now i have uh, all the resources like i said i spend my whole I mean, all the money, I don't have anything now in terms of money, but uh, which is definitely going to help to prepare these videos and uh, deliver to you. So once again, uh, thank you for watching uh, my video. I'll see you in the next one. Guys, take care of yourself and I hope you are doing good and your family uh, are healthy and doing good as well. Learn as much as you can. Help 
each and every one and i'm certainly coming with more youtube shorts again likewise i need your help because you are the source of inspiration if you are helping me out here uh, by subscribing by following by commenting uh, certainly i'll do uh, much more uh, for you that is my commitment to you so at the moment enjoy your day wish you have a very good time i'll see you in the next take care peace